Uganda is one of China's biggest trading partners in Africa as seen in the volume of goods traded in the country. This followed by easy access, Ugandans have to consular services. However, this has been at the cost of long queues at the embassy, which has caused substantial discomfort, necessitating the need for a new center. To address the gap, the Chinese embassy has opened the China Visa Application Center to help fast track the process. It opened for business today. It is the entity in trust, and actually that's the only entity uh, entrusted by the embassy to provide services related to Chinese ordinary visas and consular legalization applications. Uh, this visa application center has well-trained local staff, has a spacious area to receive uh, our visa applicants, has a call center to answer to their queries that may come along in trying to apply for the visas. Ano Joffrey Kambere, the Commission of Immigration Control, says the move will help to deal with the middlemen who have for some time been fleecing Ugandans' money promising to work on their visas. Foreign nationals, one of the things they have got uh, disturbing is the use of agents, where they are cheated, uh, you know, where they get these facilities expensively. But I think with this center, really, I think they will approach them and uh, be helped. Palace City Traders Association, Casita, has welcomed the move as a helpful effort since many of them buy goods from China. It's going to ease our members to access the visa because it hasn't been so easy and even the processes were a little bit complicated and even before they had stopped to issue out visas. Thadjus Musoke, the chairperson of Casita, says that the countries should follow suit and establish visa application centers. Other countries to do the same uh, like America, UK, Canada, Turkey, India and others so that we can easily tap into those opportunities. I don't see the need of complicating access to visa to a businessman, to a business community. Why? According to the government of China, 12,000 people go to China annually, with most of them traders. Oh.